like my Tuesday tea after school. We're all busy these days. Just be thankful I showed up at all. I need every last minute of debate prep. You're gonna do great, Claire. It's not about being great. It's about being likable. If we were likable, we would have been kissed by now. I'm supposed to have a stage kiss. Does that count? Depends with who. Walker is playing Lysander now. You're going to kiss Walker? I guess, if Katie doesn't kill me. What about that girl, Marco? No. <laughs> no kisses for me. None for me. School is almost out, guys. We can do it. Well, you three worry about kisses. I need to win this debate. Fitzroy, and obviously I think I'm gonna win because I'm the smartest person in the world. If you wanted to win, why did you tear down your own flyers? What? We've been hearing about those flyers for weeks. If you're gonna win, you're gonna need better talking points. I took the video and even I'm bored of it. What else do I have? You guys are supposed to help me with that. And where's Simone? We seriously should have kept Gus around. He was so much better at this. Gus betrayed me. You were pretty hard on him. I can't believe it, you guys are all traitors. Look, Egg, you're my best friend, but I'm just worried no one's being real with you. Can you guys just leave? I need to practice and you guys are making everything worse. If you don't want to acknowledge what happened, that's fine. I'm not going to tell Eggie or anyone. What is there to talk about? We kissed, so what? So what? That was my first kiss. I always thought I'd have my first kiss with someone who was into girls. So just because I'm dating Eggie, I can't like girls too? I, I didn't mean. Never mind. Forget this happened. Hold up. The truth is, I'm not great at trusting people or letting things go. When I'm feeling insecure, I act out, and that's why I've been weird to you, and I'm sorry. It's fine. You don't have to explain yourself. Let me finish. The other day when you were over, I wasn't acting out. I think you're cool, you're pretty, and I can't stop thinking about you. And I've been wanting to do this again. So, what does this mean? What do you want it to mean? I like you, Simone. But you're with Eggie, and I can't be with someone who's mean to my friends. Then there's something I gotta go do. I'll text you. Welcome everyone to the Attaway Middle School Presidential Debate. Let's give a warm welcome to our two candidates, Claire Fitzroy and Eggie Kong. All right, you'll each have 30 seconds to respond to each of my questions, and then your opponent will have 15 seconds to respond. Let's keep this respectful and informative. All right, my first question is for Claire, and it's a simple one. Why you? As some of you may know, my family has been in Attaway since the town was founded. In that spirit, I promise to stand strong for Attaway values, to fight tirelessly for change, and to defend each student no matter where you're from, what you look like, what bathroom you use, or how many likes you get. All right. And your reply, Eggie? Um, Attaway deserves a president who is not going to pile on extra work and make us sit through boring lectures and make us look like a bunch of stuck up nerds. And you know who that is? Me. 
Do you really believe that, Eggy? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. All right, my next question is for Eggy. Who is the student at Attaway you respect most, not including yourself? I'm gonna be real. The person I respect most is probably Claire. It's true. Last year, I copied her homework a lot, and she was totally okay with it. Then we dated, and then I ended it for no good reason. If you wanna know why I'm really running, it's not to be Claire, it's to show her that I'm the real deal and she can take me seriously too. Eggy? I'm done being a jerk. And if you guys wanna vote Claire, go for it. Well, that, uh, that was a first. Um, I guess that concludes our presidential debate. <laughs> Uh, back to school, everyone. That was a weird one. Well, that was crazy. I'm happy for him. I think he had a breakthrough. Well, yeah, but about the breakthrough, I think we should talk about how you and Harmony are supposed to kiss. It's just a play, Katie. Yeah, I know, but I just feel like it's weird because we haven't kissed for real yet. Well, things have been crazy with Eggy and the play and all. It's not that hard, Walker. Do you want to or not? I do. So let's do it. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I just had to get my book. Of course that had to happen. OK, ready? Katie, I think you're a really cool girl and smell nice, but I just don't like you that way. What's that in there? Clearly, you want this more than I do, so take it. You'll be a better president anyway. Well, of course I'd be a better president, but did it ever occur to you that I might want something more? Like, you want to be school principal? I like you, Aggie. I've always liked you. Last year, when we dated, it was a dream come true, but this year you've been horrible to me. I know I have, and it's really hard to explain, but there's this guy that I want to be, but I feel like there's this person that people expect me to be, and I don't want to be that guy. So what does that mean for us? I don't want to do anything bad to anyone again, and what I did to you was wrong, and I don't want to do the same thing to Simone, and I care about you and I owe it to Simone to actually try. I'm sorry for messing up the election, and I'm sorry for how I treated you, but you're special, Claire Fitzroy. I thought you guys were dancers. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Then it must be really hard. It's not their fault, it's mine. <sighs> Simone, thank gosh you're here. We need help. No, what we need is a good captain, and we have one before I fire her. Well, can you give the captain a call? Because we need help here. You're right, and I owe her an apology. Belle, would you be willing to come back? Please, we're desperate. Is this another one of your tricks? We haven't been solid since you left, and I'm hoping you'll consider coming back. As captain? Can we settle for co-captain? I could agree to that. Would you be willing to choreograph the dance for our play? From what I'm seeing, we need help. Serious help. I can echo that. 
All right, all right. I'm in. <laughs> Need some help with that? Leo tried to teach me. You're supposed to make an X in the center and then find the corners from there. Here. You heard all that with Eggy? Sorry, you guys talk loud. It's fine. It was nice of Eggy to apologize, but I should be apologizing to you too. You were a good boyfriend. I had already known that you liked Eggy, but no one's ever wanted to date me. Well, now that Eggy knows it, doesn't matter, does it? He has someone. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but Simone's cheating on him. What? With who? I can't tell you, but I only told you because you and Eggie are meant to be together. I promise I won't say anything. Thank you. Harmony. What are you doing down there? I'm waiting till it gets dark. My dad thinks I'm at play practice. You aren't sick? No, stuff's really bad at home. I'm gonna catch a bus to my grandparents. Leo, you can't do that. The play's tomorrow. You don't get what it's like, McAdams. I'm sorry, but I might not be coming back. If I don't, just know that you're the coolest girl in Adway. And if you ever leave, text me. I gotta go. Bye, Harmony. Next week on Chicken Girls. I guess this is the big moment. Eggie will either rise to the top of the hierarchy or fall from grace. You still like him after all of that? The heart wants what it wants, Harm. Have you still not told Harmony how you feel? Layla! I frown upon him, yet he loves me still. <laughs>